Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Happy Thursday. I hope you're doing well. Um, we have a great stream planned for tonight. Um, hopefully a good way to end the week out. Um, it's great to be back and great to see everyone here. Um, yeah, I really hope you're doing well. Uh, tonight I thought we would go back to King of Retail. Um, honestly, there's a lot of games I want to come back to, but um, yeah, I did play a little bit offline just to get us a little bit more seed money so that we can reopen Star Mart. Um, it has been quite the epic journey for Pele Inc. and Star Mart. Had a few failed ventures, but somehow they've rebounded and I think they're in a really good position. So um, everyone's favorite grocery store, Star Mart, is going to be back in business today. Um, so we'll be playing for a little while. Um, we'll see how late um, we go actually feeling okay now but there's always the chance i'll just suddenly crash um, but especially with it being thursday night hopefully we can um, yeah have a really solid stream um, let's see i did have one announcement um, one of these side projects that i had been working on and talking about should be working um, and that is Except I do, I just realized I have to add it to every scene, so hopefully I don't break it. Um, but we now have sound alerts set up. Um, I wasn't totally sure if I wanted to get this one set up, but I thought we would try it out and yeah, see if it's a good fit or not. Um, so what sound alert is, is it basically lets... Um, viewers, you, you all in chat, be able to play sounds as things happen. I think it's limited to like one per minute per person, basically. And um, yeah, so just let you kind of interact in a more direct way. And yeah, hopefully we can have some fun with them. I know a decent number of streamers will use a lot of jump scare ones um, just so that they can see the streamer get jump scared. Um, I feel like that's not really the best fit for this channel. I do want something nice and relaxed and cozy, and I feel like loud, scary sounds are probably not a good fit for that. Um, so I picked out an, an initial list. I hope it's okay. We'll see how it ends up working. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be revising and updating it. Um, so I tried to get sounds that would just fit different events. So if there's like a few hype sounds, there's a few like shock sounds, there's a few like we just lost and went out of business and went bankrupt again and king of retail sounds. So hopefully um, kind of can experiment with those. Um, but yeah, feel free to try those. Um, so I believe the way it works is if you go to the, if you're looking at the stream, um, which I guess if you're hearing this, you obviously are on stream right now. Looking at the stream. Um, but there should be an extension called sound alerts on the right side. If you click that, um, it will open up like a list of sounds. You might have to give the extension permission, um, but then you can basically just click any of them and it will play it. So for example, if we wanted to crab rave, um, cause I know we do have the crab rave emote. So if we wanted to just crab rave and then do the emotes, can do that. It was a little bit louder than I expected. We'll turn that down. Turn it down quite a bit, actually. But yeah, that is how that works. Um, so yeah, hopefully you can have some fun with that. Feel free to play around with it. I will hear the sounds. Um, the stream will hear the sound as well. So yeah, it'll be fun. But how's everyone doing out there? Just realized there's a tiny part at the top of the stream that is really bugging me. That is kind of not fully covered okay there we go that looks better uh, let's see I got a new couch this week it was very exciting um, 
I'm not even that into like... <laughs> okay, <laughs> no worries. Yeah, if you want me to explain the sound alert stuff later, I can do that as well. Um, but yeah. It was exciting to get a new couch. Um, I'm not that big into like furniture or interior decorating, but I ordered it a long time ago. And the one I currently had, God, uh, it's actually, I think it's over a decade old at this point, um, which I don't know what the average lifespan of a couch is, but um, it's definitely showing a little bit of age and my cat has scratched it up quite a bit, um, which I didn't really mind since it was a bit older. Um, but yeah, it was definitely time for a new one. And so I think I'm going to keep it around. It is very comfortable. It's actually probably my favorite place to sleep, even though I have this really nice bed. Um, I don't understand my body, but it's just slept on that for so long that I've gotten used to it so it'll still be around but I do have a new one and I can kind of decorate around that one and it fits kind of the aesthetic I'm going for in that room a little bit better. Um, I thought about putting the new couch on stream but I decided against that so maybe you'll see the old one. Um, yeah, it's, it's not a very pretty color though to be honest. Um, definitely got it for um, its coat comfiness rather than its aesthetic um but yeah i think that was the right choice given um how much i've sat on it but the new couch is also comfy it's a little odd i feel like it's actually harder um like when you look at it it looks like it would be super soft and the like exterior is but the cushions kind of underneath are really hard so i don't know it it's kind of it's strange, but I like both of them. I'm very happy with that. But anyway, um, I think we can go ahead and jump into the game. Um, we do have a store to reopen, so let us do that. There we go. All right, so we're going to load back in. All right, so we have about $15,000, so this should be plenty. Last time we went in with about $3,000. Um, so let's see if it has been a little while since I've played. Get good mix of farm sounds. Um, so let's go to HQ. Okay, so I think, yeah, we still have Star Mart. Yeah, so we have Star Mart, just has no stores, even has two points from when we first started. And you know what, for now, I think we're going to bump the corporation fee down to just like, should we just do zero? We'll just do like five. So we just need to make sure the store doesn't go out of business. And with, so I think I'm going to give the store about 10,000, we'll keep about 5,000 with the corporation. Um, that should keep the corporation fine for a while. So um, not getting a ton from the uh, corporation fee is totally fine. And I think we're going to do the same thing, even though we've got plenty of money this time. We're just going to go small. Could actually buy it. I actually didn't consider that. That would be a different route. For sure. We probably have to keep a little less with the corporation, but that's still fine. I think the corporation, yeah, right now our daily upkeep fee is like $32, so it can last a long time without much money. So if we buy, then our daily upkeep is only 91 bucks, which is pretty big savings. So we'll go ahead and buy. And just like that, we own a store. So now that our upkeep is lowered a lot from the extra money, that's also going to really help us get off the ground running. Okay. So we have this 
business that we can now or we have a location that we can now assign to star mart and we will transfer how much do we have right now nine thousand Say 75. <laughs> I wish we had that much. 750,000. No, we'll do 7,500. So that leaves about 2,000 at the corp, which is still plenty. Okay. Star Mart. All right, so I think we're good to hop into the store now. Everything is set up. Let's see if I'm doing this correctly. I believe. Okay. All right, third time's a charm. So let's just do the essentials first. I would like to decorate, but um, yeah, we need marketing computer we'll get coffee table oops have it face the wall nobody can get it well okay I thought I managed to lay it out in like the one configuration that I could get the lunch table down that would have been impressive in its own way um, so we have a decent amount of space here, so we'll just start with the little ones. Okay, so that's 120. Do four. All right, and storage units. I don't think we'll be able to fully match. That's okay. And we'll probably upgrade these fairly early on. Um, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and those hold 20 each, so that is 180, so that's not too bad. We might not be able to fully unpack everything, but it's a decent start. All right. Let's see what... Ooh, I kind of like this. It's a bit dark for a grocery store, but... We have what three by three. All right, and then the walls. What is our aesthetic? <laughs> Hype. Do these. All right. So there we go. Got plenty of money left. Do we just start with one register? I think so. This is a small store. We're gonna have to really. I wonder if we can upgrade it at some point. We have to be able to, right? Even if we have to like sell and buy it back at full price, it's totally fine. What am I doing? We need displays, groceries. 
Were these the ones we used or were these? I think these. Okay. If we just go. So we should start from the side. Make sure people have plenty of space to navigate. Maybe too much to start. Always do that. Okay. And. Okay, so we get three per display. So that's 18 items on these. At some point, we'll want to change the colors of those. Not really my top priority. Okay. Now, what are we going to actually have for sale? We probably want to sign outside at some point. I'm actually going to say that's not as important to start with. I'm trying to remember what we had last time, because I think that worked pretty well. Let's do some canned corn. Oops, that's not where we need to go. Some canned peaches. canned soup Is this honey can do some miracle cream I think we'd keep doing the flakes and choco cereal All right so that's six All right, so let's do another six and that would be this area or maybe the cleaning should be over here. So maybe we're over here right now. So we could do 12 more food items. Uh, let's see. We can do sugar, flour, salt. Those were really big sellers last time. We can do some couple kinds of rice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of eighteen. Where's our coffee purple? That was a big hit. We'll throw in a couple other purple coffees just to be on brand. Let's just get some regular salted potato chips as well. And, oh, it tells me how many things I have there. Nice, 15. So three more things. Um, I think we need some ketchup. And maybe some ranch dressing. And what's one more thing we can do? What are these? I think based on the demographic, people generally want, yeah, like having cheap things is important. So we'll go for some of the quicker stuff. Um, instant mashed potatoes. That seems like a good item to have. Okay. Let's go ahead and add in the cleaning stuff while we're here. So you gotta have your cleaning supplies. Throw in a couple types of toilet paper. Oops, 
so we'll do three types of toilet paper. We'll be really covered there. Get some laundry detergent. Okay, six. All right, six more things. There's actually not that much in the cleaning section. So, but this is still fine. We'll get super strength, industrial strength, and lab strength. I guess that's bleach. 27. Did I count this right? Oh yeah, I guess so. There's five sets of six. Okay. The last three... Maybe we just go back to some other cans and we can throw in is this like spaghettios. I don't even know what these are. Let's get some beans and some canned tomatoes. Pretty classic lineup. Okay, so one of everything it costs a hundred, so we could actually go up to like ten of everything at about a thousand dollars and still have a nice little cushion, which I think is important because it will take a while for us to get kind of ramped up. And as we found out last time, if we are negative in cash for two days, we go bankrupt. Even though we were actually doing really well, we just kind of built a little too fast and we're just barely in the red and had to shut down, which is a shame. You know what? It's probably quicker for me to just put in zeros. Nice that this is a text field. I say after I clicked on like 75% of them. Wait, I missed one. Did I miss one? Oh no, that didn't update. All right, so we are fully, have our full first shipment, first full shipment. You know what? I think we can even go ahead and type up quick article about our store. Just get the word out there for the grand reopening. Provide the great same customer service that we did when we were first here. Cause you know, I think the community really loved Star Mart. They were all about Star Mart. Okay, and we'll do one for pensioners. Fortunately, Pele is not here right now. She's been laying out in the living room most of the day. I think she really likes the new couch, which is good. She was a little scared to jump on it at first. I think the material is a little, I don't know, probably different for her, but after she realized it was safe and she could stand on it, she's actually been really enjoying it. All right, so those are posted. We can begin to unpack. Oh, this looks like a nightmare. Thankfully, we can speed up time. Get the rest of the articles. How much stuff did we order? Okay, looks like we got it all. Okay, 
so that's all that our storage can hold. That could actually be a problem pretty quickly. All right, so canned tomatoes, canned corn, canned beans, all right here. Okay, thankfully, we can fit a lot of those on the shelf. Um, and we'll get the instant meals also set up right here. Over here, our little cleaning section. Okay, we haven't unpacked a lot of those. So let's just go ahead and unpack another set. Um, so toilet papers go in here. Get some laundry detergents. And what is this bleach? Probably do that. Looking good. This feels a little tight to the wall, actually. Let's see. Can put our coffee in the back corner. I think that's okay. I think I want to actually move these a little bit further out. Just like right there. Okay, there we go. Now I actually feels like I have room to walk around here. So what else do we have? We want to make sure that we have the sugar and flour. I think we have salt somewhere, so that'll be the third thing there. Right on display, since that seems to be our major seller. Have some flakes there along with the instant mashed potatoes. I have no logical reason for why those were would go together. But maybe it's on this maybe I'm onto something there. Our three types of rice back by the coffee. I think this is where you'd find me most of the time. Do we have more cleaning supplies? Okay, we have second bleach. Perfect. Another laundry detergent. So I think that's what that is. type of toilet paper to finish the shelf. All right, it's looking like actually did this pretty well. We'll need a snack aisle at some point. Um, but for now, oh wait, we have the canned peaches to put here. Did I order too much? I have a few things that are not yet on the shelf. Did 
Did you use all the room? Oh, did we not get salt? Or was there not salt? I thought there was a fourth of these bags. Oh well. Um, miracle cream can go down there. Oh, we have one more shelf here. Okay, there we go. This one's going to be just a mix of whatever else is left. Chips, ketchup, and ranch salad dressing right next to the cleaning supplies. I think we want to change that one pretty quick. All right, we are fully set up. Um, we can we need to do minimum storage. We can do that while the business is open. And yeah, I do think we want a sign. Right out here. Wait, why? Why did it pick can corn? understand what's happening. All right, well, we're going to advertise canned corn. So confused. How did I even add article image? There we go. Oh no. Save. Oh yeah. Oh now it's canned tomatoes. I'm so confused. Oh, I can choose the article. Okay. Um, we have the best... We have the best coffee purple. Perfect. Alright, so we want to make sure everyone knows that we have cleaning supplies. And canned food. I think we are going to advertise the canned corn. It's definitely going to be a hit. Okay. So much set up. Hopefully we do not go out of business this time. But I think we are good. Just make sure. Okay. We have all of our items. That nice little $92 in rent, much more manageable. So we're not gonna do anything crazy. Forget what hours we decided on last time, but I think we're gonna go nine to 19 to start. Put in a little extra work. I feel like you have to do that for your startup. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, I can expand. Okay, so I don't have to buy a bigger one. I just expand when I want to. Perfect. Alright, yeah, I don't think there's anything to really do here. I guess we could... We have enough we can actually... I think we want to put something in Price Hunters. Just a small ad. Get the word out there to all of our friends. Farmers and pensioners. What can we can run that for? 
Let's do a three day run and start the next day. All right, here we go. The grand reopening. Whew. It's a lot of money. All comes down to this moment of truth. Can we survive? Okay, so let's do minimum storage for all these. I think 10's a decent number for most things to start. As we upgrade our storage, we can keep a little bit more on stock. I think right now we probably can't even keep our full minimum storage inventory in stock. Actually, I guess we have our full minimum storage inventory if I do 10 for everything, so that's just not true. I was thinking how much we had in the back, but I guess we have a lot that we keep on the shelf. All right, we are open. Star Mart has returned. And that toilet paper takes up so much shelf space. Did I miss anything? Okay, I think we're good. Let's see if our sign works. We sell groceries. Uh, all sorts. Not that impressed. That's okay. We have our first customer. Yeah, we are open again. Look at how excited she is. Apparently I did not find anything to her liking. That's okay. She'll be back. Just overwhelmed by the excitement of the return of Star Mart. Is this going to be too obnoxious? I feel like it's going to be too obnoxious. Oh. Got some curious customers outside. Have a wide selection of groceries. It's very true. See, she knows. She knows what we're all about here. at all. I'm committed though. Have to make them all this color. Are we gonna have our first sale? It looks like we are. What did we sell? $25 worth. That's a good purchase. We have all the groceries you could ever need. As long as you don't need anything refrigerated, this is your one-stop shop. One, did I say that right? What is that phrase? One-stop shop. Yeah, I think I said that. Is that what I said? Nobody has bit on the coffee purple yet. Got some potato chips. We did sell a coffee purple, look at that. We have groceries. Look at how much you needed groceries. He's definitely coming in. But yeah, how's everyone's week been? 
got cold here again. I feel like it's been a little bit gloomy. I've very much been wanting to just stay inside, stay all cozy. Been using the new couch as an excuse to just lay down on it all day. Just like, I just want to test it out, make sure, you know, it stands up to my needs for it. A little bit of quick restocking. Look at all the people discovering this store. She didn't even, didn't even need to be convinced. She knew she wanted to come in. Uh, we have groceries. Well, that's kind of all we have. Sorry. Let's see, he sold. It's like, I'm already here. I guess I might as well pick up my coffee. Don't worry, we will expand. Someday we'll have our coffee and tea shop. Hey Brendan, how you doing? We have groceries here. Brendan the ecologist was not a fan. Okay, I needed groceries. We have groceries. What a great fit. Hmm. <laughs> Anybody been watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier? I've been obsessed with that show. Actually put off watching last week's for a bit. Um, just to save up for some, to have something exciting to do this week. I watched it last night. Finally feel like the Disney Plus subscription is paying off always had stuff I've been interested in but I don't know if it was worth the price at first but now that there's actually new content coming to it I'm very happy to have it $43 sale look at that raking in the money I think we're off to a pretty good start. We might actually be in the green here. I think the marketing definitely helped a bit. So I think with Star Mart, we expand into refrigerated and frozen goods next then add in some produce or maybe we do the produce first but I think those are the next two things that we want to add after we uh, get a little more diversity in our selection for the groceries Right, things starting to pick up. I feel like we could almost be open like 2 p.m. to like midnight. It seems like a lot of people must be picking up groceries on their way home from work. Getting a lot more foot. Look at the coffee purple. We need more coffee purple. We're almost out of stock already.
I think that's our business move. At some point, we buy out Coffee Purple. Just make it our brand. Homebrew Coffee Purple. As I can tell, we haven't been having any stream issues tonight. That's always exciting. We just the webcam a little bit. We're good. Are we closing at 19? Is that right? I know it's only been one day, but I think I am going to adjust the hours again. I think we go... I think we go like 11 to 21. All in all, not a bad first day. I'm very happy with that. So $130 to restock what we sold. Not bad. What am I even listening to right now? Sometimes autoplay just kind of goes off on its own. All right, how do we do? $454 in sales, $91 in property, $131 in articles, $27 in taxes. You know, all in all, $204 on our first day. That's a lot better than we did last time. We'll see how traffic goes here. I think we might even stay open even later if there's still people coming in. I think our demographic's mostly farmers though, so I kind of think they would be in bed at that point because they get up at like 4 a.m., which I could never do. Yeah, most of our traffic was 10 or later, but I think we try this. Um, all right, we did our order already. Let's take a quick look. How was the first day? Oops. Customer reports. All right, two people didn't find what they were looking for, but everyone else had a positive experience. Great. Back we go. Gonna set up a quick playlist here. Cannot trust autoplay. All right, what did I miss here? Sold seven of our coffee purples. All right, still level one, that's okay. On to the next day. 
onward we go. I forgot we don't get our shipment till later. That's perfectly fine. So we can... Actually, opening later, I think the shipment still comes around the same time. So maybe we do get our shipment. Or maybe that's better for kind of when our deliv delivery actually gets here. And someone waiting to come in the instant we opened. You know what? I love the enthusiasm. I'm happy to see that. Hopefully it's contagious. Or detergent. Oh, we'll go a little bit higher on these. I think it's just because that's the one that we have on display. But we don't want people to be disappointed when they come in. Any other restocking? Oh, some of our toilet paper selling is always good to see. Only two more coffee purples. Okay, our delivery is late. It's awesome for day two. But that's why we keep a high inventory. You know, we prepare. We control our fate as much as we possibly can. Love to see when people find what they're looking for. No, that's really why we're in the business. Giving people easy access to just kind of their daily needs. How about canned corn? I told you people love the canned corn. There are our, there's our restock, perfect. Make sure we get those coffee purples back on the shelf. The canned corn is starting to move. Took a little while, but people are buying into the hype. Canned peaches. Didn't have time to personally sell them on it, but you know, he knew what he was looking for. He didn't need any extra help. He could make the choice all on his own. I think we have a profitable business here. It'll take a while before we start getting into expansion and other things like that, but I think that little bit of extra seed money just to start us off really went a long way. I really think buying the store was the right play. Renting is just really expensive. 
that extra $150 a day would add up when you're this small really quick. Not doing great at getting people into the store, but that's okay. Plenty of people coming in on their own and finding exactly what they need. Our reputation will go up. Did not see that we had someone at the register. My bad. All right, we hit that five o'clock window again. Let's see if traffic picks up. Ouch. Missed an 82%. Looks like we got someone going to the register, so just gonna have to auto sell it. And it pays off. dollar sale every little bit adds up uh, mm, ketchup I'll sell you on the ketchup perfect Let's see if she gets it decided it was not a day to buy ketchup there's a shortage you know you're gonna want to stock up now Also heard there's a boba shortage. I'm really scared. I think it's only in like San Francisco for now, but lots of funny memes about that. Been seeing over the past few days. But I will be really sad if there's no boba. We're still getting a lot of traffic, so I think these are better hours for sure. Just need to keep an eye on if we want to stay open later. Be like 12 to midnight, noon to midnight. Nice $40 sale there. All right, looks like things are thinning out a little bit. See, I don't think we need to be open late night. We're open till 21 right now, I believe. There actually are still a decent number of people walking around here. Everybody needs groceries. Missing so many rolls. Anybody got any exciting weekend plans? Seems like it's going to be one of those weekends I nap on the couch. Again, just any excuse to just spend time on my couch. <laughs> right, made a few more sales. There's still a lot of people out here, actually. I think I'm going to keep the hours for now, though. I 
But if we were just open 24 hours a day... That would be a fun addition to the game. But you can only be in the store for like 12 hours a day or something. Alright, all in all, another good day. Right, seemed like about the same in sales. Just managed to finish the post in time. Right. What do the numbers say? All right, about two hundred sixty-one dollars in profits. So even slightly better today. Thirteen people said they we didn't have what they came were looking for. What were they looking for? Why were there so many? Oh, I forgot these are separated by demographic. So far that seems to be the only negative experience. So I think the plan from here is we upgrade the storage. Let's do another ad run in Simple Life. You know what? We have groceries. You know, what do we want to highlight? We want a little bit of variety here. Let's highlight We have great salty chips. We have just the best brand of salty chips ever. All right. Three day run there. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll upgrade the storage and then once that's kind of stable and we know that we can handle more inventory then we expand add in some more items and probably start adding in some employees as well after that we've got our third concept point See how much do these cost? So delivery costs six forty. Okay, so if we sell two of these, we could get a delivery unit right here for hundred twenty. Okay. So if we did like four of the upgraded ones, and then do the tier twos around here. This should fit, right? Yeah, this should fit. Okay. So I think we upgrade. I don't know about all of them, but... Yeah, maybe get like two to three of each, and then we expand our inventory. Let's restock what we can. Did I... I did up the minimum storage of that. About the can corn. Did not. We'll go up to 15 on the can corn. It's probably temporary from our marketing, but let's take advantage of it while we can. We might even throw in a sales or a sale shelf at some point. Have our like last chance 20% off items. You may not have interest in it right now, but after I tell you about how awesome these groceries are, you will. Perfect. 
All right, our delivery's on time today. That's awesome. I think it's doing really well. We're profitable. Um, so I think we definitely learned from our past failures. Um, I think the biggest thing is the fact that we bought the store. We're saving $150 a day on rent, which is a big savings. Um, yeah, we've got a nice little modest selection. You know, we're making about $200 a day in profit. Um, so the plan right now is to upgrade our storage because that's kind of our limiting factor, I think, as our sales increase. Um, looks like we have a lot now and it's probably true and we might be okay, but I don't want to run into any major issues there. Maybe he was stuck behind me. It's very possible. Okay. But we've been monitoring the hours. It seems like we get busiest around like 4 to 7 p.m. People getting off work, picking up their groceries. You know, there's a lot of farmers in the area. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Only, dude, I don't know what to do with all my boxes. I have just mountains of boxes. I don't know, boxes are like one thing that I'm like, I know I should probably just throw out, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, there are uses for boxes, and it seems a shame to just toss these out when there could be some day when I'll need them. That actually would be awesome. The Cream Heroes YouTube channel. I don't know if this is like standard in Korea, but I noticed a lot of the, a lot of the furniture and things that um, she gets for her cats um, are cardboard. So I could actually fashion some really fun stuff from that. I also recently learned that in Japan, they apparently, like business owners have to pay for their trash which is like fascinating. I don't know if the same applies to recycling, but that made me think of that, which I guess we do pay for it in America, but like you have to like put a, like basically it seemed like a stamp on each like trash bag that you throw out. So it's like you pay for each individual bag of trash, which is a fascinating way of doing it. Yeah, let me know if there's anything that you see. Maybe I can get some inspiration and make some stuff for Pele. I just need to get the boxes out of my living room. Should just take them all down to the garage and be happy with that. Oh, we're out of toilet paper over here. We're actually starting to pick up in business. Look at that canned corn. People love our canned corn ad. But I mean, at this point, coffee purple just sells itself. We don't even need to advertise it. Get so much money from coffee purple. You know, I could probably double the price of coffee purple and people would still pick it up. Look at that. Immediately restock and just grabs it off the shelf. Oh, that's fascinating. Never thought I would want to study Japan's trash infrastructure, but I really am curious about it. Those are some great... Is that soup? I don't even know what that is, but you're making a great choice. We only sell the best products here. Perfect. All right, we are at the busy part of the day to make all the sales we can. Look 
It's like given that or like let's see how many articles we sell today because if it's below 100 I think we can just go ahead and expand the inventory. <laughs> I feel like that would be me in the store especially with how unadventurous I am with food be like I've never bought it but the packaging looks nice uh, and it says on the box tastes great and healthy for you so you know there you go I'm really excited to get our first employee again. I think I actually sent some employees to HQ from the last contract I had. The contract that I did offline was pretty awesome, honestly. It took a while, but we had just the most explosive store ever. At the end of it, I think I had about 18 employees, and it was still hard to keep up. Okay, apparently my playlist is over. Oh, that's a one hour version. Let's not listen to that. Has anyone needed help? Still good? I think we're good. Okay. Sorry, trying to get some music chewed up. Alright, we actually might need to start creating a playlist for stream. I know that's a common thing, but I've been putting it off. I feel like this is not... Let's just stick with lo-fi. It feels like a lo-fi night. Oh, sorry. Coffee purple is our most popular item. Everybody needs their coffee purple. Oh, that can corn. I know I did hype it up, but it is delivering. How many can corn have we sold today? Only five. We sold nine yesterday, so compared to everything else, that is still really good. Can we get like additional lighting in here? I feel like it's so dark in here. I mean, it did make it dark purple, but still. I actually don't think that's a thing we can do. I think this is gonna work. I think Star Mart is gonna make it, and from there, we will grow. Okay. So I think we probably have to go one more day. So yeah, we only sold 53 things. So I think we have plenty. I'm actually more worried about storage than I am. Delivery. Can I sell this back for full price? I think I think that's full price. 
Okay. So I think that's what we're going to do. And hopefully that gets us some more income and we'll be good. Nice. Made a... Our profits increased quite a bit. Made four hundred dollars. Wow. Oh, that's because we sold. Okay, that's why. I was wondering why inventory was green. So we should probably. So this was like a one-time thing. So like two hundred eighty, but it's still it's increasing every day. Um, all right. So I think we do one more day. So I think we are gonna expand a bit. $59 in tax, get one back in interest. 22 goes to the corporation. Level three store already. We are now a corner kiosk. Another concept point, perfect. Okay, see when it's like daytime, it looks so nice and bright. Um. Here, so right, we sell those. So we increase our storage a bit. Four hundred dollars left. Okay, so we do need more displays. this one do if we just put this by the register this feels like it should be up against a wall right maybe not oh it could just be at the end of the aisle that works maybe this can be our snack spot Stock all of these. Okay, so we have one more spot there. I guess for now we just fill it. Of course, we need to help. Kind of doing something. Coffee purple. Never. I don't think anybody in the store has never considered. Why are you here if you don't want... Oh, whatever. There you go. Bleach. Okay. Walked into a grocery store. Then says I'll never consider buying any of the groceries. Okay, so let's order... Mustard, yeah, need to get our mustard. All right, so that will go on the bottom shelf there. Just make sure everything's good with the store. Did our deliver? Okay, I was just about to ask if we got our delivery for today yet. Got that answered immediately. Then we can order some more chip varieties for here. We can do the cheap and the organic ones. So we'll do barbecue. Do original and sour cream and onion. Or at least in my head that's what those are. Even though it doesn't actually say. Insufficient funds. We can start with eight of each. That's fine. So 
I might not be able to do a full um, restock today. That's okay. Just improvise while we're going through. How are we on storage? 119 and 180. I think that's a good place to be. Catherine Kim. Solder. Whew, just barely got our coffee purple restock in time. Those toilet papers are tricky. That middle shelf, it's hard to see. Hang out at the register for a few minutes. Just relax a bit. I don't know how I feel about the yellow and purple shelves. Maybe a softer yellow would work. More like her t-shirt. Seems close. Oops. So has anyone picked up this game to try it all? I have really been enjoying it. Need to check how many hours I've played because played a lot more than I expected. Like, it's not like an insane number of hours, but for an early access game, that, yeah, it's just, I wasn't, didn't know what to expect going in. It has really delivered. There we go, sugar and flour, quick to sell. People always come back for those. I have a light at the register. First, $44 sale. That's a big one. Oh, there's just no satisfying him. too slow to get outside. I have a sign, like the sign says it all says it all. Coffee purple Star Mart. The perfect pairing.
I really want to go back to playing Rhythm Doctor. I was so impressed with that game. So I think there's four acts in it, is what I heard. We went, got through two of them, but there's also apparently night stages for each level, which we didn't explore at all. So there's still a lot of content there. So I'm thinking part of Saturday's stream, we'll do that. That sound was hilarious. Still, like a lot that I want to do in this game too. It's really surprising. It's like we haven't tried an electronic store at all. I feel like we haven't really gotten the coffee tea shop set up that we wanted to try. Been wanting to do another community night again as well. I think that would be really fun. I really enjoyed the Stream Racer game that we played on Saturday. Definitely want to do some more of that. Could get some Jackbox games mixed in. If we sold a single cereal. Let's discount the price of these. We're still making seven fifty per box, which is absurd. What other stuff has not really been selling? I don't know if that's like an intended mechanic in the game is that I'm supposed to like be constantly adjusting prices. Like I feel like that's not actually part of running like a grocery store. Like it, pretty much everything has a like standard retail price. So I just kind of assume that's how it worked. All right, we reordered. Okay, so if we take out our one-time expense for the store storage unit. We are still up about $100 on the day. That includes getting some more um, inventory for the new items, so I think we're good there. Don't feel like we really need to hire somebody else just yet, so I think we'll run another ad instead. Do the farmer pensioners. That seemed to work pretty well for us. Can't quite do four days, but three days, no problem. Yeah, I'm getting my first dose of the vaccine next week uh, so hopefully aren't any major side effects but just in case if something happens may have to cancel stream but I think that would be unlikely I think it's usually the second dose for the two-step ones that most people have more severe side effects so I'll keep people updated on when that might be 
think it's going to be on Wednesdays, um, so that's also kind of good given the new schedule of Tuesday, Thursday, so that gives me a little time to recover. So yeah, next Wednesday I'm sure I will just be passed out. I'm not planning to take off any time from work, but I may have to. My current manager ended up missing two days from work because of side effects this week, so hopefully it is not as severe for me. I really want to get our delivery so that we can get these new things set up. I think we can add, I think I'm going to try to add like two more sets of shelves here and then we can add another thing to kind of put on the end of each of them. Uh, she's doing, yeah, she seems to be recovered. Um, she was in office today and like we usually, we have like a weekly meeting and we usually do that at the beginning of the week, but she was out. So um, we did postpone it till today. So I got to talk to her and um, yeah, she seems, she's pretty much fully recovered. It sounded like she slept quite a bit um, and still having a bit of a headache um, but yeah those were the only some she said she just was feeling really tired and having was having like headaches and stuff so nothing too severe in the grand scheme of things yeah, I think she's even planning to travel this weekend or maybe it was next weekend I forget because I think I was supposed to wait like two week at two weeks after getting the shot I forget but like as soon as she was like basically cleared to travel she was going to take a trip um, did we finish we did that let's make sure we unpack everything okay all right we're at 146 or 180 so I think we can we might not be able to hold everything I want to without getting one more storage upgrade. Could probably even sell. Yeah, I think we just upgrade to medium tier. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, that's still a little bit out. Uh, let's go ahead and get the mustard on the shelf. We're going to lower the price on those as well. Get the rest of the chips. Coming. Oh man, it's no store or register line. Okay, maybe we are actually getting to the point that we need to hire someone to run the register. How exciting! I think if oh jeez, take it all down, shut it down. All right, fixed. Whew. Can't just have salty chips hanging out, out on every shelf. We buy these for four eighty a piece and then sell them for sixteen. Markup is so ridiculous. Uh, that's fine. I'll do $19.99 for this. Alright, maybe we'll sell a f some more condiments. I mean, I kind of get why nobody's buying it. Like, you can get a couple of nice meals for that about. Like, those are not the biggest bottles. Alright, so I think we do try to hire someone to run the register. But we're going to have them get in at like 1300 and leave at like no, 17 1800 so they'll basically be working half days so kind of ease into it a bit keep our expenses just as slim line or as streamlined as we can 
but that should be the time that like our deliveries are getting there for the day so that we can do all the unboxing get everything on the shelf and just do some other store management stuff then we can watch it kind of in the morning and as we close down it's like right now we're back into kind of just autopilot mode oh yeah now the condiments are flying off the shelf we're not really selling these either i don't think we have to go too far down with these though i like almost don't want to increase our throughput too much because then delivery and storage becomes a bigger factor in potential roadblock Yeah, for things that we're just not selling anything of. Kind of just dead space, so we do want to see if we can sell at least a couple a day. What happened to the canned corn? It was such a popular item. I guess the hype has died down. But not with, with coffee purple. Coffee purple will always be popular. Right, I think we need to update this. I think everyone has had their fill of kin corn. We should advertise the chips because we have such a wide selection of chips now. This takes so long. Be over to help you in a second. I know. We did it. Feels really strange looking at the list of people streaming and not seeing Lud Ludwig on it. Take me a while to readjust. There are definitely a lot of nights where I just kind of fell asleep with his stream on as background noise. It was nice to wake up and just have it still be playing. Wow. Flower got really popular today. Glad we can control the color of the shirts at our store. Don't have to have those crazy white ones that look the same as whatever group was coming in. Couldn't tell who the employees and the customers were. I did see a game today that somebody was streaming that I'm curious to try. I forget the name of it, but kind of seemed like like a low budget Hades almost. Um, the combat was seemed a little bit slower, like more deliberate, but um, it was like corruption of the old gods or death of the old gods or something like that. It was kind of a strange title, but. Um, yeah, it looked like a potentially fun game. Alright, I think we are good for the day. Still need to reorder. How did we do? It was 
516 minus whatever we order here. 158. Okay. Oh, that does update. That's good to know. Okay. So $350 profit. We are making profit and our profit is increasing. That is a good thing. Um, let's do a quick customer report review. 26 people didn't find what they were looking for, which is unfortunate, but we are trying to expand our inventory, so we'll get there. Um, one person had to wait in the register for a while. You know what? Sometimes just gets really busy. Can't be helped. I feel like these store hours are about right. Not too interested in changing those. Wondering if we try a loan again. I could kickstart our the rest of our inventory, but I think we do like one more day. So we'll like hi hire someone and then um, do one more day, get a little bit of a cushion, and then I think we can put that loan to good use. Hi, Pele. Pele's first visit of the stream. Hi. What you doing? You're going to purr into the mic. I've been going back to the office a little bit and honestly Pele has not seemed to mind at all. Get to check in her a couple times a day and she just sleeping out in the sun enjoying life maybe she, she even enjoys having some peace and quiet I just saw these email addresses in look.com yuha.com home.com what is home.com <laughs> at org.net it's the fakest email I've ever seen. Hey. <laughs> Hi. You ready for all the attention now? You've been sleeping for a long time. <laughs> yes. Yep. But I am already petting you. Alright, so he can do the register. It's kind of entry level, but it has some experience, so that's probably perfect for us. Um, let's check his negative personality traits. Earns XP slower, consumes more mood during the day. That's fine. What? Does like working longer days, but I think that's okay. You know, I think the half days will be a short term thing. How about sales? You can also do sales. This is perfect. I think we found our first employee. Fifteen an hour. Okay. That was about where I was gonna draw the line, so I'm glad he accepted. Excuse me. Can't get to the keyboard. Hi. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna sit in my lap. I can make room. Come on. What's 
not com comfortable enough for you? Get the cord out of the way. What do you want? Just keep pushing your head into me. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> okay, you can sit there too. It's fine. Just need to be able to use the keyboard. Monday can give him Sundays off and so maybe so fifteen dollars an hour. Pele, what are you doing? Maybe about six hours. Two, three, four, five, six. And so that looks pretty good. So he should be there for most of the day, or at least the busy parts of the day. And while we're actually, maybe we do one. Let's add in one more hour. I think we can still afford this and even give him lunch break at five. All right, that looks good. So we have our first employee. Who knows, he could even be manager of potential someday. Awesome, he can even do restocking if need be. Pretty sure we reordered Still got a couple advertisements running, so I think we're good to continue. Look at us giving the $19 back to Pele Inc. We have so many concept points. Actually, we might be able to upgrade. Let's see. Check out how Pele Inc. is doing. You can get an average reputation in groceries. So I think we do just go all the way down and then we diverse into beverages and food. Bye Pele. And she's off to explore a bit. I think she's on the search or on the hunt for food. So I think she will probably be back. You know what? I think Mach 2 has been working out all right for us. $12 a day we can manage. Uh oh, I broke the game. Okay, saved. All right, and back into the store we go. I'm actually really curious to see what it's like once we have like managers and how much influence we have on the stores at that point. Okay, so just start the day off nice and easy. Not much to do till the shipment gets here. Okay, so if these go here, I think we can move this not far, just 
a little bit. Just want to make sure there's plenty of room for them to walk around and be able to get to this new shelf. Which I don't know what we're putting here yet, but we'll figure it out. Alright, so what is this shelf for? This shelf is for... Oh, I also need to do the minimum storage. Especially for the mustard. We might have a mustard shortage on our hands. I might have discounted those too much. Let's go back up to 1250. I think we're good there. Alright, so back to what we were doing here. What is going to go on the shelf? I feel like there aren't many snacks. Want more selection in snacks. Could have baking mixes. We don't have any baking mixes right now. Alright, there's our delivery. Perfect. And we'll even throw in a I guess just something completely random. Coffee gold. You know what? We're diversifying our coffee selection. People love coffee purple so much, you know that they want placed the register is manned Devaris is here for his first day right on time great first impression so now we can do all the stuff back here that we need to sort just looking a little full still 39 slots it's okay oh, didn't help that person just missed that my bad Thankfully we did not run out of flour, and we were able to restock the ketchup just in time. We do not have any more mustard though. People love the softy toilet paper. You should just only stock that one. Having employees, I feel like, is when this game actually gets fun. Just feels more... I don't know, like a store. Like I'm actually managing. Just get to see stuff kind of happen. I don't think we'd pay to have an on-demand delivery for those. Okay. We're growing. This is exciting. I feel like I really should take out a loan. I'm just so scared. Everything went so wrong after the loan last time.
and I think he's about to go on break, so we'll have to take over the register. I feel like there's not a ton for him to do still, but it is nice having him here. Could probably put him on sales, honestly. Get some experience there and he can grow. Especially if he is going to end up being our manager at this place when we move on from here. Which I haven't committed to that at all yet. Because I'm sure there are a lot of qualified people out there. But I don't know if this store is ever going to need a ton of employees. Just given the low population of the city. This may just be a, you know, slightly profitable store that you know, we can just keep kind of making some money off of to help fund some of the bigger, more, uh, just more aggressive ventures that we would like to partake in. Right. So he's got things on control out there. We can finish up. Our current marketing post. I believe Devaris is about to leave for the day in 10 minutes. Do a quick restock of the store. And nobody bought the last mustard. Just couldn't be convinced. Continue to lower the price on these. You know what? We're not trying to rob anybody here. We want affordable prices. Got to keep our doors open, but you know, we want things to want to meet people's needs here. Well, we did not sell a lot of really anything today. What happened? I had to get back on the register, my bad. I think we probably still made a profit today, but I think this was the first day that we've slowed down. It's a Monday, so maybe just the weekends are more busy around here. I haven't really been keeping up on the marketing. It's probably not helping things. Yeah, I don't think we need a ton of sales aggression. Okay, we can end the day just working on some marketing posts. Yeah, I think our corporation is doing really well, honestly. I have no clue where Pele went. <laughs> Usually by now she would have come back. Um, we're gonna wait on the course, sorry. He doesn't even have a talent point, what does he need the course for? He hasn't even maxed these out either. So we still made about $140 profit once you take out the one-time expenses. Yeah, how exciting. Hopefully that doesn't freeze it. 
I think we're good. Always worried about the emote spam, but we're good. Yeah, I do not know, actually. Um, I really think it's just the encoder was being overloaded, um, which I still haven't heard all about when my capture card's going to get here, which is unfortunate. Um, still hoping that it's here before the end of the month, um, but Poke the new Pokemon Snap is coming out in like two weeks, so I really want to play it um, when it first comes out, so I hope it is here by then. At this point, I'm worried though, like, even if it ships, like, early next week, it, like, if it's, I forget where it's coming from, I don't know where their, like, headquarters are, so, like, if it's a long shipping time, it could still not be here in time, but we'll see. But yeah. Is anyone thinking of getting a new Pokemon Snap? Like, I didn't realize it, but I was thinking about the original Pokemon Snap, and I played that game so much. Like, I'm not really a completionist in a lot of games, but that's one of the few games I think I did, like, pretty much everything there was to do. So I don't know if the magic will still fully be there, but it will be really fun to revisit it, and yeah, I think it'll make for some nice Saturday afternoon streams. Okay, so let's run another advertisement. Did I reorder? I don't think I did. Oh, we don't quite have enough. We take out the loan. Uh, I think we're good, actually. Honestly, a lot of these we're only sell selling like one a day of. I think it's okay to just not reorder those for a day or two. Okay, that we can afford. Right, so we're low on cash, but we can go in the red one day if we need to, but we shouldn't even have to do that. Yeah, this is about the point we went out of business last time, so I think we are kind of through this hurdle. Almost level five. Should get it today. Oh, look at Star Mart. So nice. So little right now. One day it'll be a mega store. Ninety-nine of one eighty. Okay, so today we should get our whatever we ordered for here, I already forget. Forgot to update the register to the right colors. Everything has to match. Oops, did not need to save that color. I'm gonna have bright neon yellow displays really grab people's attention like you're just walking down the street la 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 and like bam definitely need to check out star mart look at how bright and colorful it is make our sale here. Perfect. I 
Things are a little quiet this morning. It's going to be a little late. Get what you pay for there. First sale of the, sale of the day always feels good. Devaris should be here soon. Devaris, Devaris. If he's gonna be our manager, I should probably figure out how to pronounce his name correctly. Everyone excited for Friday? I am definitely looking forward to the weekend. <laughs> Any particular reason? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, it is always tough when work is not going the way you want it to. I hope things improve tomorrow. You know, my week has been pretty good, honestly. Um, yeah, I had a short period, um, yeah, since my manager was not in office that, um, kind of didn't really have much to do, honestly, so I had to find some extra work, which is always an uh, interesting challenge. Um, but things have picked up. I feel like I found a nice balance. It's been a good week. Um. And yeah, so far things have been going good. I've been getting good feedback about um, yeah, a project that I was recently on that um, I think went really well and started talking about kind of the next big project I'm going to be working on, which is um, I think always exciting. Kind of see what... Um, oops, I need to get that display set up. Um, I can help her. I don't think anyone's asked us about about our ranch dressing before. We didn't even restock, oops. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's always nice to start new projects. Um, I There's one project I'm kind of excited about that might not be starting for a while, but um, there's a chance I might get to work on it. So that would be really fun. Um, so maybe like after the current one I'm on could be an option. I do feel like it's been a little while since there's been something that I've been like really passionate about um, that I've been working on. So that would be um, really fun. But yeah, I feel like this is like the longest stretch where I like haven't had to do like a lot of late nights or extra work, um, which has been fortunate because that means I have been able to stream and stuff because um, I feel like that's always, I don't know, one reason I didn't let myself stream is because there's always the chance that I'm going to have to put in extra work hours and can't keep a consistent stream set schedule, but um, that hasn't been an issue so far. and. I think even if I have to miss a stream or two, um, like usually worst case scenario, I could do one of these short streams later in the night. I don't know how much energy I would have for those, but it is always um, an option. Okay, I think we can work till Devaris goes on his break. Not quite able to, fin to finish it. 
we got to take over register duty. Look at the store coming together. I was thinking of doing four here, but maybe we just do three and three and then have like the things on the end. And then we could start putting some more shelves kind of on the outside. We do have a bunch of empty space in the middle here too, so maybe we could have another mini row. Um, I do think we'll need a second register at some point, so that's kind of what the space is for, but I think we have a little extra room for storage, or for um, some shelving. Yeah, apparently also getting like, I don't know exactly what it is, so I feel like I have no clue what I'm talking about, but some type of like fiber optic high speed internet that they're putting into my building um, sometime at the beginning of May. Um, so that'll be fun. I don't know exactly what the increase in internet speed will be. Um, and I haven't really had issues with the internet not being fast enough, but um, seems like that's probably never a bad thing. Can stream a little higher quality probably. I wish it said what the original like MSRP price of these was. I forget if I've lowered these already. I don't want to lower them too much if they just aren't selling. These rices have not sold like at all. We're gonna go like 50 over 50% 50 off on these. Star Mart's going to be known for having the best prices. We're alright. Cutting things down a little bit. People don't think it's worth what we're charging. We'll meet them in the middle. Wondering if this should be our last day. Do you still have one more day of work? And I am starting to get tired. <laughs> I would say this was a successful day. We saved Pele Inc. Okay, so next time we are going to just, I think, keep expanding the inventory, growing the store a little bit. Hopefully we get enough employees that it can kind of run itself. And maybe we'll even be able to hire a manager to pass off some of the day-to-day -day operations. Like I don't think really want to stick with this store so long that it grows into like a superstore. I think once we get enough saved up, um, we go ahead, open the second store. And then if we want to, we can always come back and keep working on Star Mart. But I'm happy. I like this nice little shop we've put together. Still wish we could add in some additional lights because it is a little bit dark at night, but that's okay. Besides that, I would be happy to shop here. All right. Just 
mood and optimism still doing all right. That's good. Okay, so we made $431. Pretty good. I think we could actually keep Devaris for the full day, you know. Okay. Let's go ahead, give him a second day off. Give him Tuesdays off. Tuesdays and Sundays. All right, no new emails. I don't think we need to hire anyone else. Do we run a third ad? This one's about to expire, so let's go ahead and do another Price Hunters ad. Go up to A4 this time. Gonna keep getting the word out. There we go. Yeah, hopefully we can hire someone to do marketing full time next time as well. I think that will be helpful for us. Oh, I forgot to reorder again, but that's okay. We have so much inventory in the back of the store that I'm not worried. don't think we're going to run out of really anything. Wow, we sold some rice. Look at that. It's exciting. So let's do a quick, quick review. So do we have anything in storage that we've never sold? These potato chips. So potato chips might be a little priced a little bit high, which $11 for a bag of potato chips, I would agree. You know, I think the potato chips would go down to like 620, like it's still almost 50% profit. And you know, that's just an impulse buy. Like they're walking by, they have the rest of their stuff. You know, they think about if they want the chips, you know, if they see that it half off basically from where it is everywhere else, they're going to grab it. That's exactly what we want. Okay. So today, coffee purple. Everybody loves coffee purple. 40 units sold. Just cannot go wrong. It's even with 73. 3% profit margin. Looks like got some canned soup, the canned corn right up there, instant meal, and ketchup. Didn't think ketchup would actually beat out flour and sugar. It's shocking. All right, these other toilet papers have also never sold. We'll go down to... $7.99 on these. Perfect. Alright, are we good to wrap up there? Alright, we are saved. All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I think this is about the time I need to wrap up for the night. Um, I think I have two more weeks and then we can start the store or start the stream. Um, man, I'm too much care retail. Start calling the stream the store. All right, the Stargazer Lily store here. We actually, we do not have merch. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I think, hey Kirby Mesta, I tuned into your stream a bit today, saw some of the Fire Emblem runs, um, but yeah, it's good to see you, hope you're doing well, thanks for stopping in and saying hi, 
uh, but yeah i think two more weeks and then i should be able to start the stream earlier um i know these are pretty short streams but just making do with current schedule limitations right now um but ideally we will be starting these at um about two hours earlier um so 5 30 pacific um so yeah, we'll be able to go about four and a half five hours um, which will be a nice stream um but yeah that is the plan but for now it was all nice to just spend whatever time I could with you all we will be streaming saturday um, i think we'll have a nice little relaxed stream definitely some rhythm doctor then we'll hop back into king of retail or evil genius 2 um, or maybe we'll even just play some marbles on stream or stream racer who knows um, but definitely rhythm doctor for sure um, and we'll see kind of what people are in the mood for. Uh, but yeah, po new Pokemon Snap coming out in a couple weeks. So that will be um, coming up very soon if you're interested in seeing that game. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, I think that is it for announcements. Um, Saturday evening might have a board game stream. Um, yeah, I don't know if... I haven't checked our group chat, Kirby. I don't know if we're actually planned for that or not. Or we think we are taking a break. I forget why. But we might have board games coming up sometime. Yeah, I'll let definitely let everyone know by Saturday afternoon. Uh, but there's a chance we will have a board game stream probably 6 30 p.m central time um, on saturday so we could get the double stream day which would be really fun uh, but until then i hope you all have a wonderful evening that you end the week well um, and yeah i really appreciate all the support and um, just everyone tuning in so have a great night and hopefully i'll see you on saturday until then goodbye This cat knows, sorry, we'll get a little bonus, get a little cat time. This cat actually knows when I end stream or when I'm done playing with people. I feel like as soon as I say goodbye, she instantly comes in here. If anyone wanted to see Pele before we ended the stream for the night, here we go. And she is ready for her second dinner. Alright, now that we've seen Pele, I will actually log out for the night. So, thank you all again. Goodbye.